Say howdy, guys, and Pablo live. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. Just hold on a second. What the what? Shit, cutscene! Oh, oh shit! Oh shit, the police! Okay, so to die. Fucking burn this place down! Those fuckers will never take me alive. Even though I'm not technically alive. Thing is, Otto can see uh, the Mandalorian without his helmet. Mm -hmm. Without a doctor. Clear his name the only way I know how by killing other robots. Good thing they're not innocent. Alright, hold on a second here. I said, hold on a second here. Yes, we are Rockman and Ratmus, everybody, who's not here, but you're definitely watching this VOD. <sighs> Sadie is not here, but the Rage Laundry is here, and yes, as you can see, and hopefully hear under, over all this fucking noise that's going on. Noise! Uh, Ratmus is, of course, continuing Mega Man 9 from where we left off last time, which was only beating Splash Woman. Oh yes, the return of fucking dangerous things coming out of pits, which was a terrible fucking idea and never should have been brought back just like coins in Mario Kart. I don't care what anyone says. Now, those cutscenes and everything are interesting because I just recently saw, I don't know if you've seen Red has been streaming again. Yeah, I, I saw him playing that, like, rock and roll, like, ROM Yeah, hack. I, I saw somebody else playing it too, but there's a... Uh, I don't know if it's technically a ROM hack. I think it's a fan game since it looks like it was probably built from the ground up, but it was clearly heavily influenced by Mega Man 9 and 10. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's for those of you who don't know, it is called Rock and Roll. And I think, I haven't seen much of it, but I think you maybe play like half the game is rock and half the game is roll. I watched some of it, and yeah, like there's some where you like switch off between the characters. You know, roll finally got, you know, feminism to become a super fighting robot herself. It's about fucking time. I would love to play the game, but it's way too hard of a game. It's, it's Kaizo, yeah. It's Kaizo. It's like these fucking elephants. I don't know if it's Kaizo difficult. It's probably about as difficult as this game, which is too difficult for me. Uh, but it looked really awesome. And spoilers, I think there's at least one level where you get to play as Proto Man. I don't know if Bass is in it or not. You take this ass. But yeah, you remember in Mega Man 8 where he said bass instead of bass? Yeah. <laughs> Apparently that's because the voice actor didn't know uh, what the hell the word bass, or what the hell the word bass meant in relation to music. She only knew bass the fish. And bass appara Pro Shock. And apparently, you know, there was no director or anything. I said it was probably just, you know, they told the, the people to record, record their own voice lines in their own bathroom like Sean Connery, right? Luna says he loves Mega Man 8. We don't. We just don't get it. And speaking of Luna, he's totally coming over next week. This music is awesome, by the way. But I don't like this game. It's just too damn hard for me. You die the exact same way. I might, have, I might have to buy some beat stuff if I work a game over in this game. Beat off, right? Both hands. Just one hand is enough, okay? You've beat this before, right? Yes. I like, honestly though, it's it's been a while. When did this game come out? Like 2009 or some shit? I could look it up, but yeah, but like, have you beat it more than once or? Maybe twice. <sighs> once or twice. September 2008. Close to 2009. Because I think like we had it on the Wii. Wii? We played it on there and then maybe also like on our ultimate, alternate um, Xbox Live. Yes. 
It originally came out on Wii, which we had it. Also the Xbox 360, which we had it uh, on an alternate account because the achievements are horrible. It was also on PS3. Uh, and now it's in Leg Legacy Collection 2, which is here on Windows, PS4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. Uh, just to be clear, it was also released on mobile phones in Japan in 2010. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck! You Tourette's guy? Oh, shit. Uh, it's a wonderful game that you're totally gonna beat today, even though it's hard, right? Mm -hmm. I don't have a... I don't have a... Uh, how about a haircut? Oh yeah, the other thing I like about that rock and roll game is like the, the diversity of the robot masters. Like not only are half of them female, but like, I'd, I'd have to look them up, but like one of them looks like it should be a maverick, like it's some kind of, you know, animal, but it's called man. There's like weird robots and ghosts and like ghost man. I think it's... Let me look it up, because this is totally important. It says it's a fan game developed by some guy named Dennis in 2019. In his basement? Of course, because he's a fucking nerd. It says the menus take influence from Mega Man X and Mega Man 11, but the game, like, a lot of it looks to me like Mega Man 9 and 10. And yeah, like, it, it features such wonderful characters as Dr. Light, Dr. Cossack, Kalinka Cossack, Kalinka Visions, Tango, the fucking robot cat that's, like, been in very little games and is basically a joke character. And apparently you can also, like, sometimes team up with previous robot masters such as Plant Man, Splash Woman, Night Man, and Question Mark. I think it's Skull Man I've seen in the game. But yeah, there's, there's Dune Woman, whose weapon is Desert Storm, which is totally offensive to, you know, people who have Gulf War Syndrome. Like, I could just load my save because I fucking used all my shit, so... I thought you needed bolts. See, yeah, I got like eight bolts, so I don't... We need more bolts, okay. So there's Drake Man, which looks like a dragon to me. Which looks like a Canadian, you know, rapper. Uh, sadly, no. There's Polar Woman, who looks like a combination between Roll and, like, Iceman. I also saw him working with Fireman in the game, I mean, Whoa. when Red was playing it. There's Missile Man, who's a steely-eyed Missile Man. And just like, like I said, like, one of them looks like a dragon. This looks like a stereotype. One looks like a really cheesy classic robot from, like, the original Mega Man. This, this guy looks like a fucking, like... Goddamn missile or some shit. Yeah, like, it, it, there's, like, robots, that, like, they're all humanoid, I suppose, but, like, there's some that look, like, more like humanoid, and some that look more like a fucking missile, like... Some look just like the noid. It's, it's, like, all over the place, and, like, yeah, like, look at this is Ghost Woman. It's like a Pokemon that's cracked. Exactly. But, yeah, like, this, this is what Mega Man 11 should have been, but Capcom doesn't have the guts to do this. Somebody named Reactor Man... Beetle Lady. She's not a woman, she's a lady. And also Tide Pod Man, I mean Tide Man. Whoa. Looks like Dive Man updated. But yeah, like then you were talking about the, the original designs for Mega Man 9. Mm -hmm. Where did you put that picture? Um. It's gotta be somewhere up there. Oh. Was it in a private message or was it in Ratmus Corner? Maybe Ratmus Corner. Oh, yeah, here it is. Of course, no one's here. I'm only talking to people who watch the VOD totally. 
But yeah, originally they were supposed to be Honey Woman, but then it says that Inafune made Splash Woman, and then they were like, we can't have more than one woman, that's crazy, so they got rid of you know, Honey Woman and made it into Horned Man, which is ridiculous. Just, just look at her, she's clearly a slut. Like, Spaceman became Galaxy Man, Diamond Man... Uh, is, is there, like, what, Jewel Man is in this? I don't know who the fuck Weather Man is supposed to be. I think Magma Man is uh, this... Yeah, I don't know about that. Ocean Man almost looks like he was updated into that... Uh, Dive Man ripoff from, uh, uh, you know, Tide Man here. In the game Rock and Roll. Oh, it does say that uh, you can ally with Fireman, Honey Woman, Skull Man, and Dagger Man. Who the hell's Dagger Man? Apparently, he's like rip off a of blade man. Oh, he was in another fan game. Okay, so Plant Man, Splash Woman, and Night Man are just NPCs in Rock and Roll. Apparently, you don't ally with them. What the fuck that means? This is interesting. Like, is this the. Okay, this is the Mega Man Fanon Wiki for some reason I ended up at. And they have, in the article for this game, they literally have links to YouTube videos of somebody's blind playthrough of the game. I, I don't know who. I have to watch them. It says, Who are the playtesters of this game? You know, it lists wonderful aliases like Casual Tom. Air Hammer, and somebody named an actual anteater, or was it an actual anteater that playtested the game, not a person who's, you know, that's his Twitch name. Disco Josh. But that's his, not his nickname, that's his Christian name that he's given at birth. He, like me, was born in 1979, and his parents said that Disco would never die. Let's see here. Okay, going back to the Mega Man 9 article, it does say that you can unlock all of the former downloadable content in this Legacy Collection. It doesn't say how, I assume by beating the game, hopefully. stuff. The ones that look like Lego tops, you know, just drop you through. Hi, Song. How are you doing? Kind of brush it up there. Morning. Rabbit's had a busy morning, but that's the way he loves it. Takes 
just hard common man. He just threw a concrete right in your face. Rebar. That's bouncy stuff I heard. Got some juju bees. Having a Pokemon in day. Is there any Pokemon in Sacred Fools? Did I even post that we were alive? Space chips. No, I did not. That's why no one's here. Fucking fucker. Difficulty easy boss with weakness very easy. I honestly have no clue what Galaxy Man's purpose is. And like, I found like a different guy because I looked up Concrete Man would be next. But uh, like the thing I was interested in is like it was telling me to first do like Galaxy Man, and, like basically you know do things very much like in a different order. Yeah, like the first walkthrough that I found. You know, didn't say Splash Woman first, she was like seven, so I was like, fuck yeah. this. Yeah, that's, that's the, must be the same one. <sighs> Again, this music is awesome. <sighs> I never watched the anime Lucky Star, but for some reason this reminds me of the uh, opening theme to it. And I'm just gonna... How would you know if you never watched the anime? Is that seen it? <sighs> Gonna pull a ratness and kill yourself? This is the plan. Cause it's the right thing to do, frankly. BRB. Snacks from Quack later. <sighs> I got 
some special snacks for Luna when he's here. <sighs> spicy though. Oh, we know they're spicy. It's gimmick. Check out this guy's life and boundaries. Oh god! It's a gimmick. A gimmick that will get you killed. It's not safe to run to the right. Wonderful thing to have happen in the Mega Man game. It's coming for you. Should have bought the anti spike shit. Should have known he was coming for you. Can you tell once about that breakfast uh, sausage. No. some reason, Dad forced Ratmus to go to a meat market this morning to get some meats, and uh, Dad got himself some smoked breakfast sausage, which he had us try, and of course it was fucking amazing, but expensive as hell, and totally pointless to waste our time and get, right? So this snack that uh, Quack has got us is uh, some sort of chocolate snack ball made with chocolate, milk, and white chocolate. Bubble chocolate, comma, milk, and white chocolate, whatever bubble chocolate is, I don't know. Wait, you can use the package to read your fortune? Well, the joke's on them. I can't read Japanese, not very well. We don't have these. They're just in a related website thing, but uh, would you like some Anpan Man and Friends chocolate lollipops? Lady on. I think that one was the milk chocolate or milk comma chocolate. This one is strawberry and chocolate, the other one, which I mean, I, I know I could have read that. Whoa, whoa, whoa! We're not hungry enough to eat these yet, are we? But uh, yeah, Quack, we were just talking about these uh, Japanese chocolate-flavored candy balls. I mean, they're not actually balls, but I'm, that's what it says is Atama, which means ball, right? Atamash. Wait. Atama means ball. What, oh, wait, that means head, doesn't it? Yeah. So these are heads, not balls. But they're, they're not really anything. I mean, they're not heads or balls. The milk chocolate ones are actually shaped like stars, and the strawberry ones are shaped like strawberries. I thought you were gonna say I can't make heads or balls of this. I mean, clearly I can't. But yeah, I, I hope you're going to be here for a while, Quack, because we just had lunch, so I don't think I want to try these right now. And we've got some... Uh, we'll try at least one of the drinks. I definitely want Luna to try the spicy ramen snacks. And tell us if they're spicy or not. Spoilers, they aren't. This is your 
first time making it to the boss. It says Caplico Caplico's head or heads. Caplico is just the name of the company. This is apparently called heads, even though they're not shaped like heads. It doesn't make any sense. I think this guy is like what it says to do first, and you're not that bad. Recognize this kanji, but I'm pretty. Maybe it's chocolate. Is there a kanji for chocolate? That was nice. No, there's definitely not a kanji for chocolate, but I'm pretty sure it's just milk chocolate collection. Because this is strawberry collection, this is milk chocolate collection. Could you just work on Hornet Man? Jewel Man, it says, is next. His weakness is the black hole bomb. So is this going any more smoothly than uh, Mega Man 8 or 7? So far, But yes, thank you, Quack, for 69 months plus one. Track. I wasn't going to say that. Those of you who weren't here, sorry about the noise of the rage laundry. And, uh, you know, Rabmus and I were discussing uh, this Mega Man fan game that we saw Red streaming on Twitch called Rock and Roll, where you play as uh, sometimes as Mega Man and sometimes as a sister role, which is awesome and totally progressive, right? And it should have been what Mega Man 11 should have been like that, but Capcom is a bunch of cowards. And they made it. Basically, like, you know, with Sonic Mania, how they basically need, like, a freaking awesome program fan person to make their games because they can't do fucking shit. It's making a lot of noise. It's because it's dead sweater is going in the dryer. That's the problem. So what you're saying is fans make better games because the companies are just beholden to their stupid money. Yeah. of the brand of that curry seasoning that you got? Um, S and P maybe, or like gold curry. Not even gold curry. Not, not the boxed one. I'm talking about the stuff from Galena. Um, it was like Galena Spice Company or something.
Fuck it, everybody. Galena Garlic Company? Yeah, that sounds right. I know one of them was the French Masala. What were the other ones? Um, like sea salt, curry, and um, cayenne pepper. I can't find any pictures of those. Just the Masala one and some other weird ones. So this is one of the types of spices that Ramus got uh, when he was uh, in the town of Galena. Actually, I don't know if you can see that on stream. Okay, you can. Um, so you bought three different bags of three different types, and this says French Masala Curry, which says it has garlic, turmeric, chilies, mustard, shallots. It says shallots, shallots. Dried onion, natural smoke essence, spices, used on lamb, chicken, fish, beef, rice, stew, soups. And then the other two that you got, you said were sea salt yeah. and uh, cayenne. Mm -hmm. It was all a very, very good, very spicy curry that Ramen's made of. This level of difficulty is medium, it says. Are you having trouble? Yeah, because I hit a stupid spike and I'm zero five, so... Would you say that it's uh, hard, not medium? Tasty crispy. How's your garden, Quack? I heard you were trying to stream it, but you couldn't. When are you going to start planting seeds, Ramus? Not for like a month at least, right? Well, I want to do some inside in like little planters with seeds, so I was thinking about doing that tomorrow. Oh. Quack gave you, what was it, tomato seeds? Oh god, these platforms, I remember this shit. This is just really freaking hard platforming. That's a great use of him. Okay, you're fucking dead. I have no idea what to use on this guy. Do you remember? No. Walkthrough doesn't even say. Don't worry, it's gotta be better than Mega Man 8, right? Right? At least, like, I know where to go to. Um, get more. That does way too much damage. Yeah. But yeah, like, in the past day or so, like, there's just, like, there was a lot, we had a lot of rain last night, but, like, the weather was just going crazy. It was, like, you know, thunderstorm warnings, flooding warnings, wind warnings, tornado warnings. Yeah, a place in Illinois called Belvedere, named after Belvedere, man. Like, got a tornado or some horrible shit. Of course it's named after him. Mr. Belvedere is an American sitcom that aired on ABC from 1985 to 1990. Ravis and I never watched it, but we'll never forget the one commercial where he dressed up as a superhero and the commercial said he was Belvedere Man! Isn't that correct? Yes. I 
had no idea that Bob Euchre, the famous real-life sportscaster of the Milwaukee Brewers, was the star of Mr. Belvedere. I mean, he, he was the... He wasn't Mr. Belvedere. He, Belvedere was the butler. He was the head of that household. Yeah. I didn't know he was an actor. He's uh, 89 years old and still alive. He's a former baseball player, major league player, and sportscaster, comedian, and actor. Johnny Carson gave him the nickname Mr. Baseball. even allowed. Farm some bolts. I'm just gonna beat this guy with Pete. Ah, I can't take any bolts. Wait, yeah, like these enemies are perfect for farming bolts like in a location coming up. Oh, in 1987, he was the ring announcer for the WWF pay-per-view event of Hulk Hogan versus Andre the Giant. Hey, Stalnox. Yes, you were clearly uh, paying attention. Yeah, he's he's a Milwaukee. Uh, he's a big, big guy, celebrity in Milwaukee, just like the Fonz, right? Stalnox knows the Fonz. And yeah, even though we've been to Milwaukee a few times, Rappus and I don't think I've ever been to that Fonz statue that they have there, right? Yeah. Rabmus posted a picture of a few days ago. I mean, he was, he was in Miller Light commercials. He made cameo appearances as himself in shows like Who's the Boss? But, like, I just, it's so weird that he was a starring role in a sitcom for some yeah. reason. Laverne and Shirley, yes. I, th I think the most recent time that Steffi Pye streamed, like, she was talking about Laverne and Shirley, like, what the hell is Laverne and Shirley? And I was like, well, it's a spinoff of Happy Days about these two chicks named Laverne and Shirley who work in Milwaukee, right? Yes. What the fuck would anybody watch that garbage? I mean, when I was a kid, sometimes I would watch Happy Days, you know, in the afternoons in syndication. Uh, but I never watched, like, Joni Loves Chachi or Laverne and Shirley or Mr. Belvedere. No, I, I was watching stuff like Growing Pains, though, and sometimes Family Matters, definitely Perfect Strangers, right? I've s maybe seen a few episodes of The Brady Bunch, but not that much. Trying to think like really, really old sitcoms like from the 50s or 60s. I've seen a lot of Gilligan's Island. I used to like that when I was a kid. Oh god, these things. I don't know if I saw that Happy Days episode, or maybe I saw an episode of Mork and Mindy, or maybe I just saw clips of it. I'm sure I've seen at least clips of Robin Williams playing Mork, but yeah, I don't remember what I've seen. How many spinoffs did Happy Days have? Clearly a lot. Ah, 
Yes, yes. The article says right here. Let, let, let's read it here. Happy Days resulted in seven different spin-off series, including two that were animated. <sighs> Laverne and Shirley, Blansky's Beauties, I doubt that lasted very long. Mork and Mindy. Out of the Blue, never heard of it. Joni Loves Chachi. Yeah, I think the main ones that lasted at least a little while are Laverne and Shirley, Mork and Mindy, and Joni Loves Chachi. The rest probably were died almost immediately. Apparently there were two cartoons called The Fonz and the Happy Days Gang, and Laverne and Shirley with the Fonz. Crazy. Milwaukee just doesn't have enough room to contain all of these spin-off shows happening at once in the same shared universe, right? Yes. Because Happy Days was in Milwaukee, right? Mm -hmm. It says Laverne and Shirley was in Milwaukee. Um, but yeah, as Stelnox just said, for some reason Mork and Mindy uh, takes place in Boulder, Colorado. <laughs> And Joni Loves Chachi, it looks like they moved to Chicago. <sighs> what is, like... Okay, so there's this weird show called Out of the Blue, and this is a, this is again one of those situations where Rockman is just telling you idiotic television facts that have no really not important and are definitely not related to the game that Ratmus is playing, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Apparently, Out of the Blue was about an angel, and it was supposed to be a spin-off of Happy Days, starring a character that you were supposed to see on Happy Days first, but due to some scheduling error or controversy, the spin-off show aired one week before the character ever appeared on Happy Days. So is it a spin-off or is it a crossover where that a character appears on Happy Days? It, apparently it was intended to be a spin-off, but now like fans can't agree like, you know, if it counts or not, because it's totally important. The damn show was canceled very quickly anyway, so that's hilarious. And what the hell is this other one? Blansky's Beauties. The main character of this show, Blansky's Beauties, was introduced on an episode of Happy Days, then set in the early 1960s, but the show is set in the present day of 1977. What? Again, cancelled after only 13 episodes. So was there a time jump, or was it just a, you know, a fucking... Like, it doesn't make any sense, but they didn't care. Like, oh, here's this character in 1961, and she's the same in 1977. Apparently, they also tried to introduce two more spin-off pilots that did not go to series. The Ralph and Potsy show and the Pinky Tuscadero show. Totally important to know these things. There will be a quiz later. I've got Rage Laundry. Rabbis is having fun, right? Mm -hmm. Anybody in chat got any ideas? Okay, chat has never played this game, okay? I jumped.
They must have really loved Happy Days or it was so popular, like making so many damn shows related to it. Going fucking crazy, motherfuckers. <sighs> I do not remember just the ten of us. Eighty-eight to nineteen ninety. Growing pain spinoff. Yeah, the name sounds familiar, but I don't think I've ever seen this, and I certainly don't remember, you know, like I said, I did watch a lot of Growing Pains, but I certainly don't remember his gym teacher being any kind of important character. It was on TGIF? I do not remember that at all. One of the children on that show uh, was played by an actress who grew up and, uh, was on this like crazy soap opera show that I used to watch called Savannah, and she might have been on Melrose Place too. Uh, other than that, I don't think I know anyone who was on this show. Uh, did you really like that show, Stalnight? <sighs> Fuck you, mate. 
Here's a list of shows on TGIF. Yeah, Perfect Strangers, Full House, Family Matters, Dinosaurs, Step by Step. I watched at least some of all of those shows. Uh, and that's all I watched. It teen Angel, yeah, like, see, I was watching TGIF probably in the early 90s, and I had no idea, but, like, it's listing shows here on TGIF going way into the late 90s and even the 2000s. It's saying that, yes, there was a show called Teen Angel in 1997, and, like, most of this, I was not watching TGIF at this time. I never watched Boy Meets World. It's saying that George Lopez and Eight Symbol Rules were on TGIF in the early 2000s. I was like, I didn't think it existed. Down with John Brady is my question. Uh, 1980s American sitcoms. Yeah, let's just go through them all, right? Uh, what is Aftermash? Ratmus uh, has a friend who is uh, very much loved the show Elf, is that correct? Yes. Personally, I never watched it. I mean, Ratmus and I were certainly alive in the 1980s, um, but, you know, we were so young, I don't know how many sitcoms we were actually watching in the 1980s. Most of these I would probably have seen, like, in reruns later. A lot of these I've like heard of, but have actually never watched. Now, Cheers, uh, actually did watch some of Cheers and the Cosby Show, some of it. Dear John, I never watched that show, but it must have been on after a show that I watched because I always remember the theme song coming up. You remember that? No. I might have watched a little bit of A Different World, but I do remember that theme song as well. Again, I never watched Doogie Howser, but I remember the show starting intro. I think it's on Disney Plus or some shit. <laughs> yeah, I've, I am a huge MASH fan, and I have all of the series and the movie, but I have never watched After MASH or Walter, because I don't think either of those have ever been officially re released. I was like, was there another spinoff of MASH? Oh yeah, Trapper John MD. I haven't seen that either. Uh, which for legal purposes is a spinoff of the movie, not the show, right? Yes. What else we got here? I'm just looking on Wikipedia alphabetically. Family Ties, I watched a little bit of that. Not very much. I did watch a lot of Full House, as I'm sure many people did. Growing Pains, as I said. It says The Jetsons is a 1980s sitcom? What? I mean, I've seen a little bit of The Jetsons. I... Something about the Flintstones? Sure. Hey, Song, there was a TV show called Lewis and Clark. I don't know what it has to do with actual Lewis and Clark. Probably nothing. Major Dad. Never watched that, but I remember seeing commercials for it. Did watch Married with Children. Did watch MASH, as I said. Grand message ever watched The Misadventures of Sheriff Lobo? Oh, no, I'm bringing it back. <sighs> Murphy Brown, I've watched, I think, all of Murphy Brown. 
So I gotta use the bomb thing. There's the new monkeys? Fucking monkeys. Night Court, I watched a fair amount of Night Court. I'm watching the reboot currently. It's nowhere near as funny as the original, but it is nostalgic to watch. Who doesn't have slime quints? Yes. I've seen all of Perfect Strangers. I said how we love that show. Police Squad was a show in the early 80s that I never saw until recently, a couple years ago, Ramis and I watched it on DVD. It's of course the show that spawned the Naked Gun movies. Whoa, Quick Draw McGraw. I think that means you, I think that means you killed him fast or something, GG. Alright, that's done. Uh, wait. Was that Jewel Man? Yeah. Okay, you, you went back there after attempting Plug Man? Yeah, because okay. I, I just wanted to get to the point where I could grind, but apparently it's behind a paywall on the whole shit. <sighs> nice. Well, Plug Man is next, it says, so. Yeah. You got a new weapon, motherfucker. Out of sight. I'm gonna save and I'm gonna use the bathroom. Is that loud? Just be talking about more television shows from the Do 80s. Do it, fucker. You wanna try some of that lemon lime soda? Uh, I don't know. Do I? It, it lists Seinfeld as a 1980s sitcom because I think it did start in 1989. I've seen a few episodes of Seinfeld, but I never really liked it very much. I've seen a couple of episodes of Silver Spoons. You ever remember Ricky Schroeder from Silver Spoons? I've seen every episode of The Simpsons. Small Wonder, the show with the little girl who is a robot, I've seen... I don't know how long that lasted, but I definitely saw that show. I maybe saw one or two episodes of Who's the Boss, but that's about it. Let's let's move on to the list of uh, 1990s American sitcoms. I'm sure there's a lot. I mean, I've, I've seen a lot of Beavis and Butthead. I saw a thing on Paramount Plus that the new season is April 20th. A new season of Beavis and Butthead coming April 20th. Oh shit. But speaking of oh shit, apparently Rambus just popped open a lemon lime soda for me to try here. Tastes like a rip-off of 7-Up. Um, it tastes like a watered-down squirt, which sounds bad, but I don't know, it's fine. Yeah. I haven't gotten there alphabetically, but I loved Herman's Head and Parker Lewis Can't Lose. I didn't watch very much Parker Lewis Can't Lose back in the day. We watched a little bit. We got the first two seasons on DVD, and then they never released Parker Lewis Season 3 ever. I guess because of music rights, and Ratmus and I are still pissed. Because they overuse the wall. But yeah, Herman's Head has never been officially released. At one point I thought about buying bootleg copies of Herman's Head, and I never did. I guess it was too expensive. But I used to love that show, and I don't think many people remember that. If you don't know what Herman's Head is, it was a sitcom about a guy named Herman who works in an office. But the twist was that you got to see inside Herman's head there were four characters who represented different aspects of his personality, arguing and fighting for dominance. Basically it was a ripoff of Inside Out and stuff the other way around. Uh, sure, whatever the hell that meant. And it also starred the voice of Lisa Simpson, whatever her name is. Yeah, she, um, well, the, yeah, she was like the, his the boss's secretary or something? She was one of the main characters. 
Because, like, yeah, the, the best friend was that guy who does, like, half the fucking voices on The Simpsons, too. Hank Azaria? Yeah. And there's a big Simpsons connection there, huh? That, I think the, the fat one that was, like, the animal instincts or whatever in his head, like, was the fat guy in Armageddon that... Like yes, yes. Off in space. That was the height um, of his career. That actor's name is Ken Hudson Campbell. I'm sure he's done a lot. He was Santa in Home Alone. He was in Armageddon, as you said. He was in The Ladies' Man with Tim Meadows. Do it in the book. Apparently, Bobcat Goldthwait did one episode of Herman's Head. Leslie Nielsen was God. But yeah, Hank Azaria played Herman's best friend. Uh, oh yeah, there was that character named Hetty, played by this woman. I don't, I'm sure she's done other things. Hetty. She was in an episode of Briscoe County Jr. Yardley Smith was the actress who's the voice of Lisa Simpson. So when when did Herman's head run for, is my question. Uh, it says 1991 to 1994, so that she was starring on Herman's head at the same time as doing Lisa Simpson. Uh, so yeah. Which one of these jobs is going to last longer? Yes. I'm sure nobody cares about the show Becker starring Ted Danson, but I watched that. In fact, I just recently I just recently bought that complete series of Becker on DVD. Just to have it and get rid of my VHS copies. Capital Critters, you know, speaking of TGIF, right? Caroline in the City, I'm a big Leah Thompson fan because I love Back to the Future. Caroline in the City was the sitcom starring her. Watched every episode of that. Never officially been released. And my girlfriend was surprised. Like, there's like a minor, weird, quirky character. Like, and that was played by Leah Thompson's daughter in, like, Zombieland 2. Yeah, her daughter is a big actress now. I, I never thought I would hear the phrase, Becker has made a comeback. Also, Dear John and Designing Women. Save. But yeah, that's not the spot to do it. I just wanted to... Uh, I just wanted to get a little sexy for the fans out there. The animated show... The animated series The Critics starring John Lovitz, Ratmus and I used to love that show. It... it we are re-watching it on DVD, and it has not held up very well, or has it? Is, I thought you were going to say, yes, it has held up well, everybody. That's the joke, is we keep saying that it has held up so well, when spoilers, it has not. This is an energy tank. Why don't you shove it up your fucking fat ass, <laughs> man? Whoa! Calm down, oh, Rumble. I think Brad misses get a little passive-aggressive here with the difficulty of this game. And, uh... Oh, it was like, sorry, Mega Man, it's, you know, Robo time of the month. And you're like, what the fuck? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't say that, Rat Mess. We're just so progressive now. Okay, you fight Splash Woman on, you know, equal grounds and shit. <sighs> Splash Woman has equal rights as the other robots, which is to say which no... Which is none. Which is to say no rights. <laughs> but they're equal. <sighs> equal to zero is still equal or something. There was a sitcom called Sybil, starring Sybil Shepherd, which for some reason I watched and loved. I still don't understand why. I don't know why I loved it, everybody, but I did. <laughs> I really don't know. If you could tell me. Dave's World, remember that? Starring Harry Anderson, um, based on Dave Barry. Yeah. That was a good show. I used to like it. I don't know. I've been seeing it since 1997. Maybe it hasn't held up. What about Beacon's World? I don't know about that. Mm 
What the hell was Down the Shore about? Because uh, I was going to ask about, but that was that stupid one where a bunch of people were like at a beach house together for some reason. <laughs> and like, yeah, it was like five stupid and pointless. I, I, it, it must have been like a, a thing that was like, we're going to air this after Mary Beth Children and hope it gets ratings and traction, and, and it didn't, I guess. And yeah, I don't know what the point of that was. I pretty much never watched The Fresh Prince of Bel Air or Friends. watched all of Home Improvement. <sighs> I did not watch Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, the TV show. Clearly I should have. And speaking of Night Court, I did watch the John Larroquette show. I remember a bit of that. That had 84 episodes. Yeah, this is lasted the a few here. years. And I used to watch Martin. Put him back in. I don't know if we saw every episode, but we saw a lot of it. We saw every episode of Roland. Alright, not to bore everyone, I will get back to talking about TV shows, but uh, maybe we, as long as we're trying drinks here, maybe we should try one of the drinks yeah. that Quack sent us. Yeah, that's a, that's a good time for that. Doing this is the way to uh, farm the fucking shit. Carbonated drink. So we got. Yeah, this is watermelon flavor. I believe we have two other ones of these. I believe one of them is musk melon and one of them is mango. Whoa. Artificially flavored watermelon. It's got water, high fructose corn syrup. Oh, that sounds great. Carbon dioxide and artificial flavor. Carbon <laughs> dioxide. Citric acid and sodium citrate. So uh, yes. Some fucking one ups, you jackasses. It says product of Japan. So, some sort of watermelon carbonated drink that Quack sent us. If Quack is still here, if I can get this open.
That's a bitch and a half. That's way too sweet. <laughs> Rapmus just drank it and said, Oh, that was a bitch and a half. Way too sweet. So, like, I, I was just about to drink mine when he did that. So I, I was expecting a lot more. Like, oh. Maybe, maybe mine got a little diluted with some water here, but... Um, It has a very strange flavor, and it is very sweet, but i it's not shocking me like Rapmus' reaction. Hmm. Hmm. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. What's giving it that flavor? Is it the carbon dioxide or the high fructose corn syrup? Or, or the high fructose carbon dioxide? There we go. It's, it's, it's more like a hint of watermelon, a lot of sweetness, and uh, high fructose corn syrup for sure. Right, well, after drinking that, we definitely need some of these sweets. Do uh, you want to try the chocolate one or the strawberry one first? I think this is what you're supposed to say. Uh, the chocolate. These are little balls in the shape of stars, and they have uh, some sort of chocolate, white chocolate, milk chocolate, some chocolates. Uh, chocolatey chocolates. Chocolatey quick, no, I'm just kidding, they don't. Okay, they're in a, like a... I'm not sure how to get this out of the plastic is what I'm trying to say here, so it's gonna take a minute. I don't want these to like explode all over the floor. plastic like almost like little miniature cupcakes. The bottom is chocolate. Yeah, it tastes like chocolate and white chocolate. So it's, well, I mean the bottom is brown chocolate. The top is white because it's white chocolate is what I'm trying to say. That is a damn fine chocolate snack. Yeah. <laughs> we only got a hundred. Very nice. Like these would be great on Christmas. It would be great on crackers. That's not what I said. We're washing down with some of this watermelon stuff. Oh shit! <laughs> All right, now for the strawberry ones. This thing flew up straight into the air, like in one on the floor. also good, obviously a very strong strawberry flavor. It tastes like some sort of strawberry candy that I think I've had before, but I can't remember what it was. Yeah. I think I prefer the milk chocolate ones, though. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of, like, the freeze-dried Neapolitan things of, like, space food. Is that what I'm thinking of? Just, just freeze-dried ice cream? Maybe. Or maybe just an ice cream Neapolitan sandwich, I don't know. Mm. Mm. 
uh, I had another chocolate one. I'm kind of like, now I want a strawberry one. Now I want a chocolate one. Now I want to just, I'll just eat all the fucking. Milk. I'll just shove them all in my mouth at the same time. Just thank you, Quack. Yes, thank you again, Quack. Uh, I would recommend these Caplico Japanese snacks to whoever wants them. Naked Truth is another 90s sitcom that I watched starring Tay Leone. The Norm Show starring no Norm MacDonald. I know that I was like, that didn't run very long, did it? It had a few seasons. I, I remember watching a little bit of it. I don't know why I didn't watch more of it. I think the dude from Elf was on it. The dude from Elf? Yeah, the like. Dan, I Sure, it wasn't Alf himself. Oh, uh, Platypus Man is on this list, which of Whoa. course Doom loves. It's a fan favorite. I wish he was Spark Man. Do you remember this show called Rock? Yeah, I remember seeing like ads for it, but then I'm like, actually watching it. Yeah. There was a sitcom called Shaky Ground, and for some reason I remember the theme song for it. Don't remember what the hell it was, what it was about. Apparently, Jennifer Love Hewitt was on it, Matt Frewer was on it. Barely lasted 17 episodes. I remember the theme song for some reason. I mean, I've I've always loved television and television shows, but like especially in the early 90s when I was sort of coming into you know my own as a teenager, um, I would watch a lot of shows and a lot of times I would just record random stuff like random TV theme songs, clips from In Living Color. I would just record randomly on tape and. And then, just, and then just remember them for the rest of my life. You got a noose. Oh shit. It's like I probably recorded the theme song for the shaky ground and these other down the shore and like I, why? I don't know. But they're in my mind. They're in my memory. Soul Man starring Dan Aykroyd. I think I saw a little bit of that. I'm ready to rush to help you out, motherfucker. I watched a little bit of Step by Step. Okay, so you beat Plug Man. Yeah, now we got Rush Jack. Thank God. And now when it's... George was like, hey, RJ! Yes, I do remember that. Next up is Tornado Man. <sighs> well, Tornado, hold me back! Nope, I do not remember that show. We watched a little bit of the Wayans Brothers. Alright, I'm done with that category, so let me look up Swan's Crossing. An American teen drama starring Sarah Michelle Gellar. Aired in 1992. Yeah, I don't remember that. What channel did this air on? It doesn't even say. Oh, is it daytime soap?
And it wouldn't make sense because it, it would have to be a daytime soap, especially since it said it, it aired between June and September of 1992 and yet had 65 episodes. Oh, God, these platforms. I hate them. these chocolates. Uh, so I'm not going to eat them all.
juju beast in his face. Next it says Magma Man. The burst of magma. And after that, finally get horny. Ah, finally. The difficulty of uh, the final two levels is medium. Still got a cowboy hat on. You got flame. Rejoice, the rage laundry is done. Is it ever really done? Shit. Have you ever seen a dragon? BRB while I take the laundry upstairs.
really do not like instant death. Yeah. But who ever loves it? Well, I was expecting a package today, but I had no idea it was going to be this big. This is a special surprise that I cannot announce on stream yet. But I do have uh, two other special things that we can announce on stream. Will you beat him? Yeah. Alright, finally Hornet Man. So obviously this is not the end of the stream, where Miss and I will be streaming for much longer, but for anyone who is in the chat still and listening, like I said, two special announcements, and I will talk more about this on Discord later, but if you haven't heard, this coming week, our friend Luna is coming to visit. Uh, he will be arriving on Monday and leaving on Friday. And we'll, we will be streaming as much as possible on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Um, which we'll talk more about later on Discord when I know what's happening. But uh, also, Ratmus will be coming over Thursday evening. Um, so I will be streaming with Luna on Tuesday and Wednesday. And uh, then Thursday night, it will be... Rockman, Ratmus, and Luna all streaming together in the same basement. You guys are excited for that, right? <clears throat> we'll be streaming Streets of Rage 4 and other uh, other amazing games. Yes. Fun multiplayer games. Uh, totally. And then the other thing that I can announce is uh, Ratmus's birthday is coming up in uh, about 17 days from now, uh, but we can announce that for his birthday we're going to be getting Ratmus a Nintendo Switch Lite. <sighs> Ratmus already knew about that, so it's not a spoiler, yeah. right Ratmus? Mm -hmm. um, 
So in the future, with Ratmus having a Nintendo Switch Lite, and me having this Nintendo Switch, uh, we can actually play Nintendo Switch online games multiplayer like Mario Party 2 with me, Ratmus, uh, and other people online as well. I think this was another place to potentially, like, grind for shit. I thought you were going to say this is another game that we could play on Switch online, Mega Man 9. Yeah, like the wonderful co-op shit that we always do. But no, Ratmus uh, very soon will have his own uh, personal Nintendo Switch Lite to take home and play all the Pokemon games that he wants and shit and not be able to stream from it because it's a Switch Lite, but you can take it anywhere. <clears throat> Just like the regular Switch, only smaller, I assume. Not like I've ever used a Switch Lite. But uh, in keeping with that, Ratmus, I need to you know give you my birthday present, which is money that goes towards the... Uh, Switch light that you're gonna get. This is your correct checking account, correct? Post it on stream. From that's mine to yeah. this is yours, right? Yeah. Yes, this is information is not visible on stream. Let me double check about that. Yes. And uh, so I am giving Ratmus some birthday money to go towards the purchase of a Nintendo Switch Lite. And, uh, spoilers, this money basically came from, originally from my PayPal account, which means it came from Twitch revenue, which means it came from the subs and bits from all of you guys, totally, are going towards Ratmus' birthday of a Nintendo Switch Lite, so thank you everyone in chat. Right, Ratmus? Now, I'm, I'm not giving Ratmus, you know, 100% of the money. Some of it will come from, you know, birthday money from our parents and stuff. Uh, a Nintendo Switch Lite is way cheaper than a regular Switch, obviously, so it's not that expensive. Quack made a difference. Well, and you've already made a difference in our life with your wonderful snacks, Quack, but you're, you're making even more of a difference, and also your tomato seeds, which will make a difference in the future, right? Yes. Quack is a wonderful human being, possibly a duck, but I think a human being, right? Yes. I'm not sure if these guys have a better drop rate or worse drop rate of like what and all that, but they seem faster than those other guys. Alright, so I basically transferred the money from my account to Ratmus's account, so he has that birthday money now. I don't know if Luna's gonna bring his Switch or not. Obviously, I'll ask him what he intends to do. Um, I don't know when exactly you're gonna get the Nintendo Switch Lite. Probably not by the time Luna gets here. Yeah. But uh, you will need it by the time when, uh, <clears throat> sometime around Ratmus' actual birthday, either just before or just after, we're gonna hopefully do a stream uh, specifically Ratmus and Doom. I was aiming for, I think, the 22nd. Yeah, I, th I think Doom said he's free either one of those days, I think, so. If you have yours by then, not only can we do Toe Jam and Neural, but we could actually do something else, like I said. Yeah. Alright, and yeah, I, I, I'm going to open this package, but it's not something that I can announce on stream yet. Probably next week when Luna's here, I'll be able to announce this uh, next surprise. But I want to see what this is. Jamboke. Terrible. The best kind of boxes. 
the part of the box that you're supposed to pull to open it is like ripping and not working. Meanwhile, like there's another part of the box that's you know not supposed to open that was already like ripped when it came. What the fuck? Yeah, I mean, like, the thing that I ordered I didn't think was that big, and, like, yeah, they, they like to ship things in big pass boxes. <sighs> Did not realize that this was made in China. saw a kid walking around the store playing a Game Boy Color. Was he playing Link's Awakening DX on it? Pause it here for a second. All right, I'm gonna mute the stream for a second here. Ratmus just started playing again. <clears throat> I have unmuted the stream. Hopefully you guys didn't hear any of the secrets that we were discussing, which will not be revealed until next Thursday.
Tiffin farming. So many flowers, this is just like Quack's garden, right? Yes. Eighty thousand flower seeds in your front ditch, so you don't have to mow it. <clears throat> How many of those will actually turn into flowers? <sighs> Whoa, rat! You found something, rat miss. I knew it was insane. Oh yeah. Horn. Let's just say if it, you know, if they had kept it as Honey Woman, then you could say, "Pleased to meet you, Miss Horny." Yes. Eighty percent of one hundred eighty thousand. Okay. This exciting cutscene development. This is the meme. Doesn't meme just come from the word memory, anyways? Yes. Bitches. A memory circuit board. We can play back his memory to see why he went crazy. So, why did he go crazy? I want you to make something up. Okay, how about we do the butt sex? <laughs> now, don't they won't give you the AIDS because you're robots. <sighs> <laughs> a splash woman is horrified by what you just said. Oh my, I've never. I mean, no. So they throw you in the junk heap after you've had a little butt sex. Who cares? Yeah, I don't like that shit. These guys are just scrapped hanging in the junkyard waiting to die. I'll fix you up because I'm your friend. Dr. Fight. <laughs> I think it's I'm your father. <sighs> well, Dr. White's your father. So, Ratmus, did you watch that entire eight hour video about the history of Mega Man? No. How much of it did you watch? Not enough. Well, come on, you could trust this face. Well, I watched the whole goddamn thing on 2x speed, of course. Uh, it took four hours. And this is so, I, I, I can tell you that, you know. The world timeline, you know, totally makes sense, and it was all Dr. Light's fault. And, you know, once he invented robots, then it was inevitable for human society to, A, have horrible wars with robots, and B, eventually over millennia, just, like, basically slowly get more and more, whereas, like, the robots become more intelligent and human-like, and the humans become more robot-like until they're just, like, half human, half robot, and nobody knows, you know, what's human or what's robot anymore. And it's like a complete hybrid mix, you know, millennium in the future. It doesn't even matter, you know, if you have a robot arm or a robot butt. Yes. <clears throat> which is all, which all brings back to, you know, funny robot and how that's sexually hot and people are sick. <clears throat> Quack says he keeps getting Facebook ads from this website wanting me to be an affiliate for this flower seed company. <sighs> You should, you know, do a stream where they actually sponsor your stream totally. Yes. I think we all want to, you know, not have to poop anymore. It would save so much time and energy, right? 
All right, so the spoilers was Dr. Wily was evil all along. Nobody saw it coming for the 17th time. Dr. Wily's Castle, part one. Let's see, once you get to the boss, which this guy calls Quad Shots, I know of no weaknesses for this boss, so you'll just have to stick to your arm cannon. Sure, once you get to said boss, if you ever do, then you will remember it and how to deal with it, right? So how many Dr. Wily's castles uh, are we dealing with here? I believe in this game there are only four Dr. Wily levels. The problem is the last one is, the, you know, all the fucking Robot Master Gauntlet plus Dr. Wily with fucking three forms all in once. <sighs> Uh, so once you get to that point, Rapids, if you can have an, as much bolts as possible, I hope you can do that. Hopefully you can afford that half damage thing, and then I, you know, I would think that once you prepare for that final level, you could save state, you know, and just in case something screws up or you lose your thing or you lose all your bolts, you know, because yeah. <clears throat> we're totally beating this today, right? Mm -hmm. And so you can use save states now. Doom's not here, so anything goes, right? Okay. <clears throat> I like Mega Man 10, you know, a lot more than Mega Man 9, but the story of Mega Man 9 is way better than the story of Mega Man 10, I will say. Where does Mega Man 8 shine? <laughs> I don't give a fuck! guy who made the video said was that uh, he doesn't like it when uh, games have like remasters that change the previous story. He says that retcons are cowardly to him and he will never support them so anything that anything with that was like later retconned in some sort of remaster or report he said he ignored that because it's bullshit to him. <sighs> That's his you know personal uh... What the hell he's gonna die on? Yes. Which you know good for him. I say stick to your principles. Or do you? Well, they touched the spikes and died and turned into energy, that's nice. Just like regular Mega Mans, they touch the spikes and die instantly. <clears throat> but, uh, Ratmus, I know that you've played Mega Man Legends 1 and 2, is that correct? Yeah. Well, you got an achievement, probably for destroying a certain amount of enemies. But, um, have you ever played any of the Mega Man Zero series of no. games? Yeah, I had not either, and I had never seen them, never heard of them, never knew what they were about or anything. They kind of sounded interesting. I just hate that they basically gave up on, uh... Yeah, Mega Man Legends stuff. Cause yeah, like he, he said that there was supposed to be a Mega Man Legends 3 and it, it ended on a cliffhanger and it should have continued and it never did, you know. Sad. 
What if it means you have to poop even more? <sighs> what if you poop out, like, you know... Robot bolts? <laughs> Robot bolts, yeah. <sighs> That's gotta hurt. Ratmish is just leaving the basement in disgust, everyone, while he... <laughs> While he sits here and grinds uh, for energy and bolts and shit. Shut itself off and go dark. <coughs> Let's see what's going on on Twitch. I've got three channels live that just show TV shows. Then I've got GBN doing something. I guess Toho, I don't know. And Smoke a Loke is playing some game called Have a Nice Death. Never heard of it. <sighs> Let's see what's going on in the world of news. Oh shit, politics, run! about to say I haven't found a single news story that I can talk about, but uh, guess what? Uh, apparently police in Florida found the body of a missing boy who was two years old. They found it in the mouth of an alligator. So thanks, lizard. Mouth of babes. supposed to see that Dungeons and Dragons uh, movie on Friday, but we had like weather warnings, flood warnings, tornado warnings, so she was not wanting to leave uh, Sadie at home, so like she has a free ticket for her birthday, it should still be good, so... So we're 
go tomorrow. Here's a great news story that I can talk about. Elvira sold her mansion to Brad Pitt and said it's extremely haunted. But he loved it. Yes, that's what it says. It says that he loved it. I bet DK would love it too. I mean, DK is basically Brad Pitt, right? Yes, it was in World War II. He's basically, DK is basically the most attractive man on the planet. That's all I'm saying. Aging like Benjamin Button. Aging like Benjamin Franklin. I like how on the sides of the screen it's, you know, saying never forget these eight robot masters that you fought until you're gonna have to fight them again. Never forget concrete man, he's a pro dude. <laughs> that, that's the other thing that, um, you know, the guy with the eight hours of Mega Man lore, he said that how, like, you know, in basically every game, how you defeat the robot masters when you have to fight them again, he said nothing anywhere in the game or anywhere else ever addresses the fact of, like, are they the same robots, you know, were they just defeated, not destroyed? You know, did you destroy the first ones and they are exact copies? No one ever addressed it, so he said, if the game doesn't care, then I don't care, just don't ask questions. I was assuming there were some sort of copies. I was gonna say, like, what do you assume is canon, Ratmus? You would just assume that they're exact copies, duplicates? Yeah. And sure, why not? They come off an assembly line like the T-800 or whatever, right? So, in other words, in the ending, you know, when we make friends with Jewel Man and all the other people, they're basically not your real friends, you killed them all, they're just fucking duplicates? Yes. Or he's, you know, Mega Man's got PTSD and he's like imagining it. Do they somehow, you know, upload their memories to the cloud and then download them into the new robot bodies? Yes. I like how I didn't get any fucking one-ups there. Oh yeah, and that guy also addressed how, you know, you always talk about the Dr. Light holograms and, you know, how can he be up to date on current events and whatnot? He's attached to the cloud, apparently. No, but like, apparently in some of the... I guess it's like the Mega Man Zero, or somewhere around those games, like there's these, I can't remember what they're called, like some sort of... Oh, you were just playing a previous stage for Bolts, okay, I see. I thought you were in the Dr. Wily stage and there was no boss. I think, there's these things, I, I think they're called Cyber Elves, yeah. and like, it's somehow like where you can, tr you can transform yourself into pure energy and live that way. So he was saying that maybe Dr. Light, you know, turned into a cyber elf and, you know, is now existing as pure energy. Uh, so, you know, he, he used to, he has all of his previous memories or something and, and can, you know, he still exists basically in a way. Or maybe he's just a, you know, sufficiently powerful AI. And I, again, I don't know if it's stated or if it's just theories. That for me, roll. Are the shock guards and beats that expensive in Mega Man 10 or did they lower the price? I want to say they lowered the price. <laughs> and some pump. Oh, I saw man. His eyebrows are back, baby. Oh, look at that tuning fork. Touch my mom! Oh shit. Who is Dr. Wily's mom? Is she ashamed of him? See the fan games about Dr. Wily's mom. Are we gonna jam that, you know, radar dish by throwing a bottle of jam at it? Yes. Or a jar of jam? What's it called? Jam jams? 
Yeah. Tam Tam. Simon River Tam. This is on my playlist too, by the way. Your playlist? Just like does my Rapmus music on my phone. A, does Ratmus have a music quiz? I should, alright. Yes, you should. Everyone should have a music quiz. They can just push shit at me, you fucker. Like the obese mafia guy that we keep referencing in the yes. Bunnies channel. Busy with your gardens. Okay. Do I like my garden? Tornado fuck them. So you're talking about quack. Tornado fuck the people of the jury duty. Just go to jury duty dressed as Princess Leia, then they will, you know, immediately dismiss you. It's a time honored tradition that never fails. Is this black hole bomb killing this guy? Yeah. I say. <laughs> Fucking ripped all of his meat off his bones. <sighs> he just likes a little meat on the bone there. I heard he likes to help out the kids. Chaser. I haven't even used that weapon yet. We're trying for even more bolts here, right? I don't have the balancer because, like, I'm like, I can get some good, uh, you know, weapon energy from this shit. Chat. You got it, Ramus. It's worth it. I 
I'm gonna freeze that. Concrete. What she's saying is you'd rather have a Wii remote turned sideways? Can we just use an NES controller? We have to talk about. Or should we just deal with this shit? Life is that shit. Talk about how crappy the Flash is this uh, last season. It's fucking horrible. Just like this level. No, the Flash is worse. This is stupid. But like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, if I was one of those people who just stopped watching the show after like so many years, you know, I probably would have like. Stopped last season, but you know, it's ending, so I'm gonna finish it. Would have stopped when Iris was trapped in the mirror. How the fuck are you supposed to do this? It's, it's fucked up, is what it is. I was paying your taxes, Quack. We talk about fun shit here. Yeah, like. The final season of The Flash, like when it started, I was like trying to like it. But yeah, like I agree with this guy online and, and, and you. It's like this is the final season, and like this is what they choose to like waste their time. Like they said, like there's wh whoever is writing or in charge of the show, like is he doesn't know anything about the show. They're new, they don't care. Yeah, they know what and ending. It's like. This is not how you're supposed to end a nine-year series, like, groundbreaking and superhero show on television. Like, you should have the best fucking writer, not, like, waste any minute of it on stupid stories, on stupid characters, same yeah, stupid just, shit. Like, a boring, stupid shit. Like, yeah, I want to see, like, Caitlin no longer exist and explore a new character in the Bye, nine Quack. episodes. Thank you again for watching and all the stuff. And listening to our bullshit. And listening to our bullshit. We hope you have a, everything works out. Uh, the timing has to be better. But yeah, like, it, it's fucking stupid. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't... A lot of those characters, you know, I just don't fucking care about. Like, it, it seems, you know, like once Iris was stuck in the mirror, you know, like, she just doesn't want to be in the show. <laughs> How you're supposed to do this? Dude, 
try the video, please. is what I think it is. You have to go all the way up to the left, but it's almost like not worth it because then you gotta come back down yeah. through all that shit again just to get out all the way to the right, which is the way to actually advance. the boss. Yeah, I remember. You just shoot the things back on him. That's all you can do. It's like Tapper. On root beer. Thank <laughs> you. 
only thing you gotta avoid those arrowheads shooting at you. Yeah. You should be avoiding them better then. It's just a practice run? Yes. Now you're gonna beat him for realsies? Like, those shouldn't, you know, kill me, they should do some decent damage, but they're not gonna fucking kill me. There's an idea how about you avoid them and the arrowheads and, you know, jump to avoid them instead of fucking getting hit by them. Wiley's Castle Part 2. God, the boss is that giant shark that comes in. Where's the fear? This is the level with like hidden pits and shit. Stupid flower sub boss that's giving you trouble. This guy used a concrete shot, but you know, the only way to do that is to, you know, when he appears, you gotta get up close so the concrete can hit him in the arc.
can you use plug ball like bubble lead to see where the holes in the floor are? Probably. So I don't think there's much you can do about those guys right now, but uh might be able to take him out quickly with Horny Chaser or just rush jet this part, but that I suppose. You just went straight to this next thing? Yeah. So you're just wasting all sorts of energy tanks at once. your difficulty. Full underwater spike sections. Instant death. Slash wasting of your spike uh, potential. This ladder to the next room, you might want to use Horny Chaser immediately to take out those movie projection guys. And then 
uh, eventually you'll come to the boss. and the launcher that they come out of. The second stage, she's using the tornado to start with, followed by magma. And then for the head launcher out of his mouth, more laser trident, so I hope you didn't lose, use all your laser trident. Laser Trident. So for the second part, use Tornado Blow. If you run out of Tornado, you could use Magma. And on part three, it's, this says either Mega Buster or Laser Trident. kill the stupid missiles and the right timing in the back so I can jump and hit the thing with the trident. Mm -hmm. 
Hey pizza, how's it going? I don't know why you called Rat Miss QQQ. Right? Triple Q. I'm so cool. Do 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 don't touch my mom. Oh shit. Alright, well this is Dr. Wily's Castle Part 3. It says level difficulty hard. We know the boss of this level is just like the goddamned yellow devil, it says. Black hole bomb is the weakness. Excuse me. This is Mega Man 9, Dr. Wily Stage 3. Let's see what Ratmus is up against here. Later on, there's going to be those enemies that grab you, right? <laughs> Shut up, some pump. It's like Treasure Mountain, right? Because I'm just magically floating. It's exactly like Treasure Mountain, yes. Pizza said he was doing good, or maybe he meant Tetris was doing good. We're going well. Is that a me mega energy tank I saw? Yeah. Things are heard of only in Legends. Not Mega Man Legends, I just mean regular Legends. Right? Yes. You fucking bitch! Let's check out the comments on this YouTube video that I'm watching by Mega Quint of how to do this level. The comments say, I played 1 through 10 and I found the boss of this stage the hardest of the entire series. Down 
How do you move in the gravity part? Are my deep heads or control stick broken or something? Yes. You dumbass. Let's see if I can get this now. Nope. <laughs> see if I can get this. Jimmy's. <laughs> <laughs> this walkthrough even has no damage strategies yeah. for you know trying to do that stupid challenge. And literally for the boss of this level, for the no damage strategy, you know what he says? Well, I'm leaving this vacant until I go back and play the game once more and list at what numbers you should jump. I'll explain this later. So basically he said, this is so hard I'm going to figure it out later, and he never did. is live with Breath of the Wild. Ooh, what would he do? Okay. <sighs> Ramus, you played Breath of the Wild, right? Yeah. Are you excited for the sequel? Not really. Song is excited for the sequel. <sighs> Not fast enough on the draw. It's too good to pass up, people. It's too good. With me at this game, I mean, I'm shit. Speaking of you being good at this game, Ratmus, uh, you know, once you beat Mega Man 9 and 10, which you've already done, uh, do you plan to perhaps one day in the future stream the X games? Sure. Or at least some of them? At least the good ones? X7? What? No. But definitely X1. <clears throat> yeah. You want to do 1 through 4? It's, it's up to you, Ratmus. You, you know, you're the master of your... Okay, that guy was there. If you go all the way to the left, that asshole, that's what I was worried about. Well, I, I got that thing, which is important, so... so I'm, all, I'm all filled. You just had to sacrifice a life to do it. That's fine. Uh, save. Ratmus is the master of his own destiny. Except when I force him to play games. Did you get hungry or something? Uh, okay. um. So as we said, next Thursday we're streaming with Luna. So no Rockman and Rapid Street next weekend, which is Easter, correct? Mm -hmm. uh, and then Saturday the 15th, are you even coming over? No. Saturday the 22nd, you are to do a birthday stream? Yeah. Are we doing something on the 16th Sunday for your birthday or something? Um, that Sunday is my birthday, uh, um, you know, dinner out. Okay. So, but on the 22nd, that's your special birthday stream with Doom, yeah. so I need to see. <laughs> <laughs> so in other words, if we finish Mega Man 9 today, which we should, then you still have Mega Man 10, but that won't be continued until God, when? Good question. Possibly not until May. When are you going to be gone in May? Um, I think it's around Mom's birthday. Yeah, May is going to be all fucked up. 
How about instead of you saying May's gonna be fucked up, you say May is a wonderful month where you can stream with me every Saturday. How about you say that? Even if it's a lie. <sighs> In other words, if you're a fan of Rockman playing, if you're a fan of watching Ratmus play Mega Man, then you're fucking up the creek because we're not going to be able to finish Mega Man 10 for a long, long time. Of course, that, I think there's already a playthrough of Ratmus doing Mega Man 10 on YouTube, but we're going to redo it, so it will eventually get done. We just don't know when, right? Yes. <sighs> Was all that weapon. Went from tornado suck to tornado blow. Got fucking one up shooting at me, bitch. <clears throat> the boss. goes, you dodge the things. That's all you can do until, until as soon as his eye comes out, use the black hole bomb on him. <clears throat> now my question is, does it do damage, like, if he goes past it, or does it have to actually hit him? I'm not sure. <clears throat> Guess we'll find out. Yes. And then the next level is the last one? Yes. That would be a good time to take a break for some curry, right? Yes. And all that shit. So the eye goes between from one to the other. Yes, that's the only time when it's vulnerable. Flies over the most vulnerable. Yes. We're just uh, getting the uh, use of this, by the way, because. It's, like, it's just doing way too much damage. Like, I know you can get the pattern down and supposedly avoid them, but, like, my god, this game is way too punishing with how much damage it does. And that's why I just can't, you know, support it. Oh, Tommy. Yeah, playing this hand is, like, fucking insane. <laughs> Like, you know, times when you just jump and you shouldn't, wishing you could slide. Oh, you can't slide, no. What a terrible idea for a game. Bushwhack. Ask that guy who wrote the fact. I'll get back to this. Uh, left the country and left no forwarding address. It's like, to be fair, fuck this shit, I'm out. Twice if like you do it precisely, which obviously is very fucking hard. Shoot, you know, before it comes out, not after. Is okay. I, I see what like. What if you did that, but then like. If you pause and switch to another weapon and then switch back to Black Hole, could you hit it a second time in theory? Is that how it works? Mm 
You can't pause it or no, I just didn't go quickly enough. I was trying to count like how many times you could survive getting hit, but I just keep losing count. the balls come like that, you have to jump, stay in the center and jump both of them in one uh, go. Yeah. Like that, yeah. I used black hole bomb four times and then for the last one he took him out with P. I don't know. Okay, I guess because he ran out of energy for it. That's not good. You know, they don't give you enough energy to fucking kill the damn thing. It's weakness. Question mark? So this is the yes, boss rush? This is it. Um, now, can you make a checkpoint save here? Yeah. But we only get one checkpoint save? Yeah. yeah. lives, correct? Yeah. So we want to save all the energy tanks probably for the final Wily and not use any of them on the 
boss bosses and just die, right? Yeah, and I can use this, right? Uh, yes, but my question is, and I, I think I remember from watching Matt play this game, or maybe it was Mega Man 10, but I think if you use that right now, it will continue to work even after you die, and you only lose it when you game over. Yeah, but I, that sounds right. Does that sound right? I'm not wrong about that. That's why I'm saying, like, so you just used it. And there was, again, no indication that you used it at all. No noise or anything. And Matt used it accidentally. So... But yeah, I don't know. Like, just in case, do we not want to, like, make another checkpoint save after you now use that, or... Yeah. What? This tells, like, you know, where all of the bosses are in their capsules, but it doesn't immediately say their weakness. So it's like, oh, then they gotta look up, the, you know, fucking different part of the fact that tells their weakness. Fucking hate that. Got a horny chaser, that. Right, now you got an extra life. Uh, energy I mean, this guy's using pee also because he doesn't have much concrete as he just used a lot of it. Considering the fact that you now take half damage, uh, hopefully it'll be good. Yeah. I wish you could do a thing where you did tw where you do twice as much damage to the bosses as well, but yeah. that's not how it works. I presume that this next guy is going to go in the same order that you're going, which is counterclockwise. So next up would be Concrete Man. Yes, that is his weakness. You've got full, so that should be fine. Use it all in his iframes. Next one is Splash Woman. I believe her weakness then should be Horny Chaser. But it's alive. It's always live in my heart. Is a woman's real weakness, clearly. I thought you were going to say it's a woman's prerogative. Next is Jewel Man. He's the black hole bomb as his weakness. I don't know how much of that you have left. Not a lot. <sighs> Might be enough, though. Jump around, idiot. Jump around like that song. Right, not bad. Next is... Is that Horny Man? Yeah. 
Hornet Man's weakness is magma power. And while with the with the half energy or whatever, this, this is going a lot quicker and easier than uh, it was for Matt, that's for sure. Uh, uh, fucking shit's a godsend and you, you know, should use it as much as you can. Alright, next boss is Magma Man and his weakness is... Thunder. Or Tornado. Yeah, the Tornado weapon. Which I don't have a lot of because, uh... Yeah, he doesn't have a lot of it either, so he's just using P on him after that. <laughs> The uh, sump pump noise sounded, you know, very similar to the tornado noise. Yes, like, I think it's supposed to be like a volcano or something come out of his head, but to me it always looks like a cowboy hat. Uh, cowboy hat on fire? Mm -hmm. Somebody threw into a volcano? Yeah, the half damage is it's basically how the entire game should have been. Alright, next up is Tornado Man. His weakness was what? The plug ball. Butt plug. Just don't pull a Mickey Rooney and die on the spikes. Final one is Plug, plug Man. Yeah, it's Jewel Satellite is his weakness. Which this guy ran out of, so I had to use P, but you have full. Also, the weapon is Jewel Satellite, right? Reminds me of the actress Jewel State, S T A I T E, from Firefly. I have met uh, this. What's the. Right, hold on, I don't even know yet. Looks like you bounced the egg back at him or something. So this was like. What's his face's most hated boss of all time here? to bounce back the eggs, you know, with your arm cannon, that's the only way to do it. Somehow not take damage. Second form, this guy's again just using arm cannon. There's probably a better way to do this. Let me look at the walkthrough after I watch this video, and then on the final form where it's the capsule, he uses plug ball, but he doesn't have a lot of plug ball left. That's when he uses his mega energy tank, right? What does this say? <clears throat> Alright, well I hope you're taking half damage because you've just committed yourself to this. When the battle starts, stand in the corner and ignore the first two eggs that Wily shoots. Once the third one comes out, start shooting your Mega Buster so it bounces back and hit Wily. It takes three hits to make it explode. Once the first one explodes, ignore the next one. Only shoots the one that he shoots out when he's far away from you. This one will hit 100% as long as you keep spanning your Mega Buster, this guy says. Loaded, but not in a good way. I don't know about that. For this guy, the second form, he says concrete shot. Uh, and for the last form is plug ball. Does it do damage to him when it explodes on his feet? I don't know. That one hit him in the mouth. It did damage for sure, as did that. 
Yeah, that didn't look like it did any damage because it exploded in his torso slash feet. Alright, so pretty much concrete shot for this. Now, it's going to be hard to avoid this form's uh, weapons. Yeah, he's going to shoot fire in a weird arc like that. Do we have any concrete to use on no, him? No, so I'm waiting until I can do some damage to him and then... Uh... How much plug ball do you have? I don't mean... I did not mean to use it on this form. I was saying, like, you know, is it worth it to use your mega tank at some point during this form? Plug ball is the weak point of the third form. Well, I have no C shot, so... Concrete on this third form plug ball. Well, you spammed it and wasted a lot of your concrete. Yeah, why the fuck is. Like, I have turbo on or something. The pause menu, not that pause menu, the save from the pause menu. Yeah, is there something in here where you actually turned on, accidentally turned on turbo or something? Is that no? An I'm wondering if it's this because there's a turbo button here and this button. And, and you actually accidentally keep hitting the wrong button and it turbo shoots or something. Balls next. Favorite previous Wily capsules from you know other terrible games like Kate. Why didn't that do nothing to him? It's, it's his weakness, but it's doing very little damage. He took a capture instead of what he really Is wanted to do. I'll to delete the captures uh, later on. All right, so you're at full health. He's at, I don't know, maybe 25%, way less than that, maybe 10, or he's one hit away. Quick draw McGraw. Well, you did it, Ratmus, congratulations. Yay. <sighs> Using uh, safe states that were totally allowed. Damn right. Sounds like our mother's here. Sounds like dad came down to the kitchen to screw us over is what it sounds like. Um, I'm gonna get this. I'm like, why is it stopping? I thought this was a cutscene. All right. Well, while the credits are rolling, Ratmus, why don't you go upstairs and be accosted by Dad and get your food? Get your food. Why don't you watch the cutscene? Oh, look at those. Uh, Please forgive me. He's, he's got the plans to bass right there. Oh, is this this is the one? Yeah. I, I love this ending. This is like one of my favorite endings. It's like, you know, here, check this out. This is where, uh... This is from Mega Man 1, these Mega are all Man the times. 2, these are all the times where you three. lied to me, you piece of shit, is basically what he's saying. So what is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... <sighs> and eight bit. Me Mega Man and Bass? Yeah. Totally. Wait, but... <sighs> If Mega Man and Bass was before this, then why does he have the schematics for Bass on his monitor like he was going to build him? Just checking them out. It was a robot I had the butt sex with. He got Robo Enza. Look at that. Oh, oh god, he killed himself in prison. He's Jeffrey Epstein. You're like, a fool. Oh, it's a trap. That's a robot. Mega Man's like, well, I don't care. Poor man's like, whatever. You got to make your own mistakes. Oh shit! Doctor Wily was lying all along. Nobody saw this coming. I'm just gonna leave. That poor robot with no human rights. I'm just gonna take a nap. 
if I can need my help again. Did you burn the forest? Did you burn the roast? Oh god. Mega Man has once again put a stop to Dr. Wily's evil plans. Dr. Light was found to be innocent. Of all crimes. Unlike in our own society, the justice system works uh, properly here. I mean, what? Oh god. Dr. Wily, however, will return in Mega Man 10, which Ratmus will start immediately after his dinner. All right, go get your dinner, Ratmus. The people on YouTube and the people lurking are loving this. And the roll credits. I know how to beat Mega Man 10, so we shouldn't need a walkthrough for that. At least until the Dr. Wily levels, because I can never remember the weaknesses for the robots that come back from previous games. And here's the the ending that we we talked about this earlier. How it, you know, I, I love this whole ending. Everything we saw with Dr. Wily was funny and good. And you get to see the robot masters that we defeated and killed, and somehow they're back, and now they've been reprogrammed to be good, and we're you know hanging out as friends, and it's all wonderful. We got to see Dr. Light fully nude in the bath. Each of these pictures has you know one of our Dr. Light family people, along with a robot master. That's hot, no film question mark. Thanks, some pump man who should totally be a robot master. Rush apparently is shopping at the Capcom store. Is that a thing? Or maybe it's just a Capcom tote bag that he had? <sighs> Pearl told me in looking off into the sunset with Galaxy Man. Man's like, I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, so microwave means something. Oh god. Two or three more minutes or so. That's GG. Missed auto taking fully nude pictures of Splash Woman. <sighs> They're BFS forever, right? Yes, that's did you say they joined up in that one fan game? That's why. Uh, I, don't, I don't remember if it was him or not, but sure. Cap. So they start that and... Uh... All right. This time I'm actually going to remember to change the game at the right time, totally. Oh, shit. You unlocked so much up and stuff. Did you unlock the ability to play as bass? unlock bass, but hopefully there's a way to do that, but we don't care at this point, so. 
We're going straight to Mega Man 10, right? Let's go. And you fucked something up, as usual. Choose what side picture we want once again. Oh, wait, is this the one where you get to play as Bass? Not okay. I guess Bass was not available on Mega Man 9. I was mistaken, right? Yeah. All right, the game is officially changed to Mega Man 10. It's Mega Man. Now, the previous time you did this, you did do it on normal. Are you going to do normal again? Yeah. All right. It's going to be difficult. This mode is, uh, well, it's not difficult. This mode is normal. Good luck, Ratmus. Of course, as we all know, you always start out with, it was never this good with sheep, comma, man. I totally farm those bolts, comma, man. His weakness is P. I mean, what? Pretty sure I beat this game on normal as Mega Man once, but normally I just play it on easy because that's how I roll and that's how I like my games to be easy. But Ratmus ain't so easy. He's gonna play it on normal and configure the buttons apparently. already 524 and we haven't eaten. Can you cook my food since it's up there? Okay. I will BRB everybody. If anybody's even here. I just want to do one level and I'll probably get it. I did like attempt a no damage run of this game. Obviously, it was short. I think I beat this level. Yeah, I was playing this part of man. Because you don't want to get hit, so it doesn't matter if he takes double damage. I don't know.
Oh, so being able to slide and stuff is important. Take a BRB while you eat. You want to help you close for the If you beat this and then eat, then what are we going to do when we come back from eating? Everyone's watching, we are going to take an actual break, put up the BRB screen, and when we come back, Ramus will either do another level or something else. If 
anyone has to leave during the break, but I thanks for being here. Did you actually save? Mm -hmm. Leave it on the menu. Okay, hello, we are back. Uh, Ratmus has finished eating curry. He's going to do the next level, which is Pump Man, right? Mm -hmm. You don't need pump, do it. All right, I'm going to get my food. Look, the, the half damage is cheaper. Like, uh, the and so are the, be the beets and spikes way cheaper. Thank you. 
with those curry packets like there was, there was so much of it and you didn't use have to use very much for this that we will have a lot for future curries it looks like yeah right? i can use that mix for i mean i can use those seasoning for other mix stuff so we have a lot more curries to look forward to in the future This is excellent. Yeah. yeah it's, it's weird, like, the curry mix that I bought was like a thing of woodlands, and like, it's only like enough for one, you know, cooking thing, whereas like the ones from Mitsu are like double packs.
thought this said new sump pump for a second. <laughs> that wants to jerk himself off. <sighs> no comment. And like this, you gotta aim it like a buzz and one's kinda jumping forward. This difficulty, do they even give you enough Thunderwall to, uh... Well, it's a damn turbo, it's... Stop using the turbo. I think, like, cause thing, like what's this T right here? I don't know. I don't use that button. But I, I'm not hitting that button. Well, maybe you hit it and toggled it on and you need to hit it again to turn it off? I don't well, know. I've tried that, too. But the one problem with it is the, how gimmicky the weapons are. Yeah. everybody. Turbo, but uh, it might resolve itself once the thing's off. So, somewhere we just now dropped 49 frames, but uh, uh somewhere we're gonna land three, everybody. It was burning. <sighs> okay, well, yes, I probably played this on the emulator. So, yeah, if, 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 we didn't explain what's going on here, but yes, so so Ratmus is done for Mega Man 10. He's done with Mega Man 10 for today. We will continue it in months when we can continue it. But just to end off the stream as a little bonus, I wanted to check this game out that I personally have never seen. This is Meg uh, Burger Time Deluxe on Game Boy, apparently. So 
What do you think of it, Ravnus? It's burger time. It's nice. Is it any easier than original burger time? Kind of, maybe? I mean, it's yeah. smaller. More efficient. I just finished my extremely spicy and delicious curry. My mouth is like, it's not on fire, but like, I, I can, it's like really tasting that fucking spice, I'll tell you that much. Um, so we got maybe about more, 10 more minutes for Ramus to mess around with whatever he wants as a bonus. Now, as we said before, <clears throat> Luna is coming over next week, so there will be a special Rockman and Rat Miss and Luna stream Thursday night. But then after that, <clears throat> Rat Miss won't be back until his birthday stream special, we hope. To continue Mega Man 10 sometime in the future, and beat it, of course. And then we'll finally be done with Mega Man 1 for 10, and fuck Mega Man 11, we ain't doing that. Probably by the time it gets to fucking June, uh, you can figure out what game you want to stream next, right? Yes. Got some time? Double tap that wiener. Double tap trigger. I'm telling you, got that. Put time on a burger, I mean, what? This is definitely way easier. It's a great password, just look at it. I said look at it, chat. Pac-Man was crazy, the you know, cutscene mix-em-ups. <clears throat> so I ordered something else from Amazon along with that other thing that I can't say yet. And it, it originally said it wasn't going to be here for a long time, but now it says it's shipped and it's going to be here Monday. Yeah, like when I ordered... <laughs> Do Sundrop for his birthday. Originally, it was saying like April 4th was when it was going to show up, but then, like, when I picked his address, it uh, like was way earlier. Well, that's an instant kill of all the damn enemies. That's a nice addition. You know if they delivered it to his house yet while he's out of town? Uh, yeah, it actually said so. He promised his mom wouldn't uh, drink it. Oh, his, his mom is home? Okay, yeah. good, because... I, I thought you were going to say he promised his mom wouldn't think that it's a bomb. I thought that would be worth mentioning that, but yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, she, she never promised that. <sighs> Need that shit, yo. <sighs> yeah, I mean, you know, we talked about how... How, in, how infrequently we can stream now, and like... Yeah, Doom, uh, what was the last game he finished? Uh, fucking no, because it's been so long. He's not yeah. streaming again until like the Monday after his birthday. <clears throat> it was Link's Awakening. Before that, it was Super Mario Kart, right? Yeah. <coughs> but yeah, I want to see Doom stream this game. I got wieners all over me. <sighs> Please tell me you got that. <coughs> that was Pep 
whatever he just picked up, right? But it looked like a freaking brook, you know, chess piece. <coughs> What's that? It looks like chocolate. chocolate. Oh. oh, invincibility chocolate. The best kind, everybody. What about Japanese milk chocolate from Quack? He dropped on the floor of shit. original burger time like I, I don't think I've ever beaten like the third or fourth level you know without save states. Oh, fuck. <coughs> no you missed. <coughs> After this I gotta pick out the food I got. I got myself uh some smoked turkey, um, lunch meat, uh, kielbasa thing, oh god, and uh, some steaks for myself and my girlfriend. Whatever, well, <clears throat> you and I don't need to do anything else, right? <sighs> you could put a safe state if you want, I don't know, at some point I should probably check this game out, and yeah. you know, that's about all I can stand. Uh, yeah. Press Z and L on arm together. Not hold them, just press them. There you go. Create suspend point. <clears throat> Alright, that is the end of the stream for today. Uh, Thanks to, everyone to that was here in Quack for all the wonderful things. Yes, exactly what Ratmus said. That's the end of the stream. Bye everyone.